chemistry master welcomes you again with our new video in which we are going to discuss about the formation of pi molecular orbital of 13 butadiene so in this video again we will be discussing that how does the formation of molecular orbitals from the atomic orbital take place and what is the concept of formation of nodes so before moving forward in the direction of understanding how does the pi molecular orbital of 13 butadiene forms we can go a quick revision of the basic concept regarding the molecular orbitals so if you talk about the basic concept of formation of molecular orbital so we already have discussed in our last lecture also when we have discussed about the formation of pi molecular orbital of ethene that the molecular orbitals are always in equal number to the atomic orbital that means the atomic number which are going to get joined or which are going to get combined they will be giving equal number of molecular orbital also that is the first concept the second concept says that whatever is the number of molecular orbital in them the number of bonding orbital will be always equal to the number of anti bonding orbital or you can say out of all the molecular orbital half of them will be bonding molecular orbital and half of them will be anti bonding molecular orbital and these molecular orbital which are formed they will be having different energy and energy will depends upon the interaction between the orbitals and the last thing which is again very much important that the bonding molecular orbital will be always having lower energy as compared to anti bonding molecular orbital so these are the basic concept which will be always remaining there for all the type of pi molecular orbital which are being discussed in pericyclic reaction so now let us take the concept of formation of pi molecular orbital of 1,3 butadiene so as you can see in this structure in the above we have shown 1,3 butadiene molecular structure where you can see two pi bonds are there which are in conjugation so we can show them in any way whether the first structure which we have shown out here whether in this way you can show it or maybe the second structure which we have made we can show it like that also so both of the structure are right and the same structure if you talk about we can show with the help of the orbitals also you can see that there are four carbons which are associated with the double bond that's why you can say that these four carbons will be undergoing in the formation of pi molecular orbital of 1,3 butadiene now if you closely look this structure you can see or you can say that there are two ethene molecule in this particular 1,3 butadiene okay so if you see these two are there and here are these two structures or two molecular orbitals which are just giving the sense that they are like ethene structures so when you talk about the formation of molecular orbital of 1,3 butadiene so we can take this particular energy level diagram to make it somewhat more clear so we can say that the two ethene molecules they are getting joined to each other okay and the joining could be of different kind so that the different energy level can be obtained to us so the first way of formation of molecular orbital will be depending upon the arrangement of the two ethene structures in the way which we have shown out here before that we also have to understand that if there are four atomic orbital you can see there are four atomic orbital in this particular 1,3 butadiene structure so there will be formation of four molecular orbitals also and half of them 
will be bonding type and half of them will be anti-bonding type. That means two bonding molecular orbital will be obtained and two anti-bonding molecular will be obtained to us. Now we will see that how these molecular orbitals are obtained. So the one of the structure which we have shown here, you can see that the ethene molecule, these two ethene molecule in this 1,3-butadiene, they can be arranged in such a way so that they can give you the arrangement which we have shown here at the bottom. You can see the arrangement in this particular arrangement, you can see the arrangement could be like this that all the four orbitals, they will be on the same side. Means these, these two atomic orbitals on our left hand side will be joining to these two atomic orbitals which are on our right hand side and there will be only bonding bonding interaction like this or you can say only constructive interaction will be there so bonding interactions are there only and the molecule in which there will be only bonding interactions the energy of that molecular orbital will be least means it will be of lower energy or least energy and would be having the highest stability now it can also happen that these two atomic orbital which we have shown these two can do what they can arrange in some other manner but the two lobes which are present at the upper side they will be on the same side and these two which are present here they will be all, also on the same side but the interaction here would be somewhat different as you can see here so you can see this particular two atomic orbital they are in same form here also these two atomic orbital which are associated with each other or you can see this ethene type of structure this in this also what is there the two same type of lobes are on the same side but it is only the condition that these two have been just reversed the lobes which are at the upper side in the addition or you can say in the formation of molecular orbital they are just reversed out here but still they are on the same side now the, this is a bonding type of interaction this is again a bonding type of interaction but if you talk about this interaction this is of opposite type that is anti-bonding interaction and if you see two bonding interactions are there one anti-bonding interaction is there so overall you can say that there is one bonding interaction as compared to three in the lower molecular orbital so the energy of this second molecular orbital or you can say side 2 molecular orbital will be of higher energy while stability will be less. Now talking about the next molecular orbital which will be formed. So the next molecular orbital will be formed by the interaction of these two ethene molecule you can say or ethene orbitals. And how they will be arranged it will be seen here now if you see the arrangement will be there so if you see this here already they are on the opposite side or you can say anti-bonding type of interaction is there so already it is of same kind and this we have shown in just a reverse form means this is shown on the low the field one is also on the lower side and the here the field one which is at the lower end is shown at the higher end out here but still you will see that these two lobes they are opposite in the arrangement here also these two lobes are opposite in the arrangement that means anti-bonding type of interaction is there overall two anti-bonding orbitals are there or two anti-bonding interactions are there and one bonding interaction is there so if you see bonding interaction will be cancelled by this anti-bonding uh, interaction while one anti-bonding interaction will be remaining there. So you can say the side 3 will be having one anti-bonding interaction and anti-bonding interaction always is of higher energy as compared to bonding 1 and that's why side 3 star will be having much higher energy as compared to side 2. And the last type of interaction will be there in which 
all these loops will be arranged in such a way that they will be having only anti-bonding anti-bonding interaction between them so these two are shown the same way as you can see here so there is anti-bonding interaction here also these two they are present in the same way anti-bonding interaction is there and this also you can say this is also anti-bonding interaction so overall you can say there are three anti-bonding interaction or three destructive interactions are there that's why the energy of this psi 4 star orbital will be very high as compared to any other molecular orbital and this is the way how we show the molecular orbitals for 1 comma 3 butadiene in which you can say that as you go up in the energy level the number of anti-bonding interaction or destructive overlapping increases while on the lower side the bonding interaction or the constructive overlapping is much higher now talking about the another concept which is again very much important that is of nodes that how many nodes will be formed in this particular molecule and we also have discussed in the last time uh, in the case of ethene molecule that how nodes in a particular molecule can be calculated and what is a node so if you talk about the nodes node means how does the two neighboring orbitals are associated with each other so if you see this one we already have discussed in our last video also in case of ethene that if the two adjacent orbitals in them if the lobes of same kind are on the same side then we say that there is zero node or there is no node if you say in this one the two red orbitals two red lobes are on the same side while the two white lobes or you can say these two same type of lobes are on the another same side that's why there will be zero node while if you talk about the example below the two lobes which are of same kind they are on the opposite side that's why we say that there is presence of one node so that is the concept of node that how that the node can be determined now we will be taking the example of one comma three butadiene that in successive molecular orbital how many nodes will be present so if you talk about the one comma three butadiene we already have discussed just earlier that there will be four molecular orbital which will be arranged like this you can call them as the psi one psi two then psi three and psi four these are the four molecular orbital and here the energy will always increase and we already have said that out of the all molecular orbital the half will be bonding and the half will be anti-bonding so out of four the two will be of bonding type these are bonding molecular orbital and these two are anti-bonding molecular orbital and we already have discussed that anti-bonding molecular orbital will be always having higher energy as compared to the bonding molecular orbital and they are shown with the help of star now if you talk about the nodes if you see in this one the lobes of same type are on the same side that's why there will be zero node so because we already know about the formula of the nodes also that how many nodes could be determined by this formula which is written here so nodes is equal to energy level minus one so first energy level that is one minus one that means there is zero node and which can be shown by this particular uh, orbital structure also if you talk about another one if you talk about second one this is your second energy level minus one it will be giving you one node and that you can see here also so they are of same kind so there is no node between them they are of the same kind the, again there is no node between them but yes these two are on the opposite direction that's why there will be formation of one node in between so yes that's why there is node equals to one if you talk about third one that is energy level is three minus one that is 
there should be two nodes so we can see that so they are of different kind that's why you can say there is one node or you can say that same type of node is present on the opposite side that's why there will be presence of one node now if you see here if you are going from here to here same type of node is there so there is a same type of lobe is there that's why zero node is present here while in this one you can say the same type of node is present on the opposite side that's why one more node is there so overall you can say one two there are two nodes while if you talk about the psi four star the highest energy orbital again in this if you talk about the nodes according to the formula it should be energy level minus one that is four minus one equals to three so now let us see that whether there are three nodes or not so if you see these two are of opposite type are on the same side or you can say same type of lobe are on the opposite side that's why one node again same type of lobe on the another side one more node and same type of lobe on the another side that is again one more node so overall one comma two three nodes are present here so this is how we have understood that what is the concept of formation of node how many nodes will be there and we also have discussed that how does the molecular orbital of 1 comma 3 butadiene will be formed how many number of them they will be what will be the energy concept behind that and hope that all what we have discussed here will be helping in your examination in clearing your concept regarding the pericyclic reactions also if you do have any query you can send us mail or you can contact us over our phone number also which is provided with the video in the description share this video with your friends and if you like it please subscribe our channel also so thank you for listening and for watching and hope that you will be continuing with us like this in the future also. Thank you.